everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today on how to utilize the new book knowledge base and internal support center. When you're logged into the system, in the top right corner you will see the question mark icon and if you click on this it's actually going to expand and display helpful articles based on the page that you're actually viewing. Depending on the page you may also see recommended video tutorials as well. The best thing about this is you can actually click onto these articles to view more information and if it is something you find helpful and you'd like to refer to again in the future, you can click on the love heart icon and add it to your own favorites menu. So in the bottom right corner, if we click onto our favorites button here, you'll see I now have some favorite articles to view at a later stage and also some favorite video tutorials that I've pinned earlier. If we pop back, it'll take us back to that full list. And you'll also notice as you navigate through the system, so if I head to my booking chart, New Book keeps the knowledge base open and actually adjusts to show you helpful articles relating to that page. If you are wanting to view video tutorials, you can also click into the video tutorial button here, which is going to display recommended videos based on that page. Separate to our video tutorials, we also upload any webinars that we complete and we also allow you access to register for upcoming webinars. So if you'd like to see what's coming up, simply click on the webinar button here. You can then register your details using your name, email and how many participants you would like to register. And in the drop down option here, you will see the list of webinars that are actually scheduled and the date and time. Once you then submit those details, our marketing team will send you through the Zoom details so that you can connect to that on the correct date and time. Lastly, we do have a more help option in the bottom right hand corner, which is great for those non urgent questions that you may have regarding the system. It will pull through your user details and contact information. You can select whether this is a low, normal, medium, high or emergency request. And you can also advise what it is actually relating to. So if it's a technical issue or if you're wanting to organize some build training, simply select the correct grouping option here, add a subject and where possible, provide us with as much in-depth information as possible so our team is able to investigate this further for you prior to responding via email or giving you a call. We also give you the option to attach a screenshot. So if you are wanting to attach an image of the page that you're currently viewing, simply press the screenshot and it will actually attach an image for us to that support request so that we can see exactly what it is that you've been looking at. All you then need to do is select submit and that will be sent through as a request to the entire support team and we will respond via email or give you a call if it's easier to clarify over the phone. We do advise that for any business critical or urgent requests that you do reach out to our support line and the number is listed here and that will take you directly through to our support team. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today on the knowledge base. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out.